pressure in gases is measured by a manometer. Uh, now, this manometer may contain water or it may contain mercury depending on the magnitude of the pressure that is being measured. Now, right before us, we, are look, we'll, we have a diagram of a manometer and we have both sides, both a, side A and side B. When you look at this side A, it is open and side B is also open. Now, when both sides are open to the atmosphere, it means that the same atmospheric pressure is going to be exerted on the surfaces on both sides. This H you see right here is representing the atmospheric pressure. So the atmospheric pressure here experienced is the same atmospheric pressure experienced because it's the same atmosphere. This is why level, uh, at side A, this level and that level, the levels of the liquid are the same because the pressure here and the pressure there are the same. Now, what if we put a gas source right here? What is going to happen to these water levels? When you introduce a gas right here, and we have our gas supply, we have a gas coming in right there. It means it's going to push the levels of this water, or in this case, mercury. The mercury levels in this limb are going to move down, and they're going to make this thing move up. Definitely, this limb will move up because the pressure that is being exerted by this gas is greater than the atmospheric pressure that is being exerted on top of the mercury level on the mercury in this limb. So as a result, this limb, this will go move down a certain height down, and it will be the same height by which this limb will rise up. Now, for us to be able to calculate the gas supply, the pressure of this gas supply, the pressure of that gas supply is going to be equal to the pressure by which this has risen. So, if you look at this point here, at this level, level B and level C, the pressure at this level B and the pressure at level, that level C is the same. So, it means that the pressure of this gas coming in is going to be equal to, or it's going to be equivalent to the pressure that is being exerted by this mercury column. So, wherever we want to find the pressure of this gas, we simply find the pressure of this mercury column, H. And we've explored this before that the pressure for pressure in liquid is equivalent to h rho g for us to be able to find this the formula we shall use therefore is that the pressure remember that the pressure of this gas supply should be equivalent to the pressure of this side of the limb now this being our universal point we know that the pressure at b is supposed to be equal to the pressure at c so now what is the pressure at b Now, the pressure at B is being caused by the gas. So it means that gas pressure is going to be equal to the pressure at C. At C. Now, the pressure at C is being caused by that mercury column plus atmospheric pressure. Let's call atmospheric pressure H. So it means that gas pressure is going to be equal to the pressure at this point, and the pressure at that point is going to be the atmospheric pressure, which we've called H, plus the pressure exerted by that mercury column which is height times density times gravity we shall do a few worked examples to illustrate this for example in this question you are being required to find the gas pressure this is the gas supply so we are being required to find the gas pressure in newtons per meter squared in centimeters of mercury and then millimeters of mercury and since we are dealing with mercury the density the atmospheric pressure we've been given is 103 000 and the density of mercury is also a constant, 13600. The density of mercury is 13600. So I begin. Uh, when the gas supply comes in here, it's going to cause the mercury column to raise up. And according to this diagram, the mercury column raises up by 45 centimeters. So the pressure of the gas supply, which we shall cause the pressure of the gas, is going to be equal to the atmospheric pressure, which is capital H, plus, plus the pressure of this, which is height, times density, times gravity. So the atmospheric pressure we have here is 103,000, plus the height of this, which is 45 centimeters. Now, since we are dealing with pressure, we are supposed to write that height in it is in meters. Convert this to meters. So 45 centimeters we divide over divide by 100 so that it is 
converted to meters times we are the liquid we are dealing with is mercury so the density of mercury is going to be that times one three six double zero multiply that by the gravity which is 10 and the rest will simply be arithmetic now we need to calculate the pressure of the same gas in centimeters of mercury now when these centimeters of mercury it means that we are simply going to look at the height and we just call it centimeters of mercury if you look at this height of column these are 45 centimeters it means that the pressure here is 45 centimeters of mercury the pressure of this mercury column but then in this case we are looking at the pressure of the gas supply now the pressure of the gas supply remember we say it is going to be equal to the pressure of that height of mercury column plus the atmospheric pressure on top here so the pressure of the in terms of centimeters of mercury we already know that the pressure of this mercury column is already 45 centimeters of mercury therefore we need to find the equivalent the, the, uh, of this the atmospheric pressure has been given to us as 103000 now what is the equivalent of this in centimeters of mercury when we get the equivalent of the atmospheric pressure in terms of centimeters of mercury then we are able to add the equivalent to this 45 centimeters of mercury so that we are able to find the gas pr supply pressure so to find that pressure still we shall say uh, the atmospheric pressure remember atmospheric pressure which is h is still su supposed to be equal to according to the barometer height times density times gravity remember we use the barometer to measure atmospheric pressure so according to the barometer when we were trying to find this value of h it was height a certain height times the density of the mercury times gravity now this h which is the atmospheric pressure we have is 103000 so it's going to be 103000 is going to be equal to the height of that barometer which which is h times the density of the mercury which is 13600 times the gravity which is 10 so we get the height of the mercury barometer and definitely of course here the height will be in meters and so when we say 103000 uh, divide that by 13600 times 10 our answer will be it will be 0 0.7573 meters converting this to centimeters because we're interested in finding centimeters of mercury it would mean that this is going to be if we multiply this by 100 so it's going to give us 75.73 centimeters so it means that as far as atmos this atmospheric pressure is concerned uh, when we use a barometer we get 75.73 centimeters of mercury now the question is requiring us to find the pressure of this gas supply in centimeters of mercury so it means the pressure of the gas supplies in centimeters of mercury is going to be equal to these 45 centimeters of mercury plus the plus the atmospheric pressure which is equivalent to 75.73 centimeters of mercury so it means that the pressure of the gas is going to be equal to this atmospheric pressure H plus the other pressure uh, of uh, pressure of mercury. And the atmospheric pressure here in terms of centimeters of mercury is going to be 75.73 centimeters of mercury. You add that to the pressure of the mercury, which according to our diagram is 45 centimeters of mercury and therefore our answer here will be 20.73 centimeters of mercury we're being required still to calculate the pressure of the gas now in millimeters of mercury so when they mean millimeters of mercury it means we are simply looking at how many millimeters of mercury are there our height of the mercury column here is 45 so it means these are 45 centimeters of mercury and we say that the pressure of the gas supply is going to be equivalent to the height of the mercury column here which is 45 centimeters plus the equivalent height plus the height that is equivalent to the atmospheric pressure here now we know that the atmospheric pressure is uh, 103000 now we need to look for the equivalent heights how many heights of mercury millimeters of mercury are equivalent to 
10300 newtons per meter squared of atmospheric pressure and then we add those the, the, those heights of mercury to these 45 centimeters of mercury of which these we are also supposed to convert to millimeters now converting this for example to millimeters of mercury 45 centimeters converting 45 centimeters of course is going to become uh, times 10 to millimeters so it's going to give us 450 millimeters of mercury this is the height of the mercury column it's 45 150 450 millimeters of mercury but now we've been told that the atmospheric pressure which we are supposed to add to this is 103,000 newtons per meter square so we are supposed to find the equivalent how many millimeters of mercury are equivalent to this atmospheric pressure so let's go ahead and find them so we know that atmospheric pressure h is going to be equal to h rho g now this is one zero three triple zero is going to give us the height which we are looking for the heights of mercury times the density of mercury which is one three six double zero times the gravity which is 10 and of course our height here is going to be equal to 0 0.7573 but here it's in meters these are meters of mercury now converting this height of mercury these meters of mercury into millimeters of mercury converting these meters to millimeters it means you are going to multiply this number by a thousand so it means that our height uh, is going to be equal to 757 millimeters of mercury so now since the atmospheric pressure is equivalent to 757 millimeters of mercury so it means to find the pressure of this gas is going to be the pressure exerted by this mercury column so the total pressure is going to be the pressure exerted by this mercury column which we've got as 450 millimeters of mercury plus atmospheric pressure which is this 757 millimeters of mercury and our answer here will be